Hi guys and welcome back to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. In this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I mounted this finished cross stitch project onto the backing board to create a beautiful Halloween display. This design is called Smokey the Halloween Cat and you can actually grab your own free copy of this digital cross stitch pattern by clicking the link in the description box down below and signing up for our free VIP Stitch Club and downloading the ebook of eight cross stitch patterns of which Smokey is one of them. It's available for instant download so that you can get stitching today. This cross stitch piece has been washed and ironed before we are starting mounting it onto the backing board. We've also got videos about those two tutorials if you want to check those out before we begin. So to mount your cross stitch project and display it on the backing board, you're going to need some double sided sticky tape, a ruler, some foam board. Here I'm using five millimeter thick white foam board, wadding or batting and scissors or a trigger rotary cutter like I've got here. I also use some standard pins you can grab from any craft shop. So the first thing to do is measure your finished cross stitch piece and make sure to give yourself some additional allowance around every single side. So a good rule of thumb is to measure the stitched area and then add on around one to two inches on each side. Make sure when you're cutting your piece that you're absolutely certain that's the size you want to go with because there's no going back. But an easy rule of thumb when you're cutting to make sure those lines are perfectly straight is to follow the lines in your Ada fabric, which will help you as it's a grid. Next, with your foam board, this needs to be cut slightly smaller than the dimensions of your fabric because the fabric's going to be wrapped around the sides of the foam board. So figure out from the front of the cross stitch project exactly how much you want on display. So the foam board should be cut smaller than the cross stitch project. You then need to cut your wadding. I would recommend getting white or some kind of a pale color. It will depend on the color of your cross stitch fabric. So cut your wadding or batting to the exact same dimensions as the white foam board. Stick the wadding onto the foam board and then position that face down onto the reverse of the cross stitch project. So you want the wadding touching the back of the cross stitch piece. Next, double check to make sure that the cross stitch piece is in position and then pin around every single side of the edges of the foam board and make sure to tape down or secure in some other way the edges of the cross stitch fabric which are left over onto the back. But don't worry because no one's going to see these from the front. Now for the backing board section. So I just got this wooden effect backing board, which came with the string just from eBay, but you can get anything very similar from craft stores or even some kind of a hardware store, but also check out Amazon, eBay and any Etsy sellers. Next, I need to decide on what kind of ribbon I'm going to edge this with. This will really make the cross stitch piece pop against the backing board and just add a really nice border. So because Smokey the Halloween cat is of course a Halloween theme, I'd bought a few different ribbon options here and I'm just trying them out to see which one works best in terms of the colors and the style. If you're wanting to gather up the ribbon as well, it might be a good idea to get something with some kind of wire inside so that you can easily manipulate the shape. I'm trying out a few different versions, but I decided to go with this black and white cobweb theme because I thought that it really complemented the cross stitch project the best. I decided to stick this down onto the back of the foam board so that around half of the width of the ribbon is showing from the front. There's a few different ways of doing the corners, but with this particular design, of ribbon, I just thought that this pretty neat style worked best. Now my ribbon actually wasn't big enough to go all the way around the edge, but it doesn't matter because I was intending to add on an extra bow anyway, which fills in this space really nicely. So I made this black bow out of a different type of ribbon just so that it popped and then added a bit of double-sided sticky tape to the bottom and pushed that underneath so that it's stuck in there nicely. Check from the front that it all looks good and then stick down the foam board with the ribbon and everything else attached onto the backing board. There are different ways of doing this. You could use a glue gun, you could use other kind of super glue, or you could use Velcro strips potentially if you wanted to switch out the cross stitch project depending on the trend or the season. And here you have the finished display. I think this looks absolutely beautiful for Halloween this year. But of course you 
can do a spring display, something summery, or of course, Christmas themed. But if you're going to invest in the backing board, it's a really good idea to try this out with a few different designs, and then you can switch them out depending on the time of year. So this kind of a display could be hung up on the wall, maybe in an entryway, a hallway, or you could just prop this up on a table for a really cute decoration this year. So don't forget to instantly download your free copy of the Smoky Halloween Cat cross stitch pattern by clicking the link in the description box down below and join the VIP Stitch Club today for free. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you love all things cross stitch. Give us a thumbs up and leave me any comments down below and I'll be sure to reply. See you soon. Bye.